All right, folks, had a viewer request to take a look at Intel's Turbo Boost technology and kind of talk about some of the characteristics. I think mainly he wanted to see uh, what the temperature is like. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to do a before and after, all right? So I'm going to show you what the value was when it basically was uh, Turbo Boost was enabled, okay? And this uses power limit 1 set to 65 watts and power limit 2 set to 224, okay? Uh, if I were to set those in limited, you would see some differences throughout here. Now, one other thing we're going to look at besides those characteristics is the overall benchmark score. And you see here we've got XTU 3289 marks, okay? So that's what it scored out at. In a moment, I will show you what uh, it was with Intel's Turbo Boost disabled. So let's take a look at that. And you see right there, 2063. So significant drop as far as their benchmark score goes. Now let's take a look at temperatures, how that changed. So down here, we can see the package temperature. Now... This is, once again, this is the uh, Turbo Boost enabled. Most of the time, the temperature sticks around 31 degrees Celsius. Minimum 30 degrees here. Max was 74, okay? 74 is when you're running the benchmark. And now I have a decent CPU cooler on here. It's Scythe Ninja 5. And it keeps things pretty cool. You see, uh, during this time frame... The recent average was 35. Nothing, you know, really uh, important about that. Now let's take a look at what it is with Turbo Boost disabled. So I'm going to hover my mouse over here. You know, you see uh, current temp is, uh, you know, 31, 33. Recent minimum was even cooler here, okay? 25 degrees Celsius. Recent maximum, 38. So, huge difference there. It's almost half of the temperature, all right? Um, and then recent average, 29 degrees Celsius over this time frame. So, definitely gets cooler. Um, I'm not even going to guess why people would want to disable turbo boost but for whatever reason you want to keep the temps down or maybe you want to use less electricity whatever it may be uh, hopefully you're getting something out of this video all right next thing we're going to take a look at is the cpu utilization okay let's come back over here so when turbo boost is enabled you see um at least at the moment in time here, 13%. Now, we, I think we really care about here is probably the recent maximum was 81. Um, hard to compare this time frame to the other one, but the average 7%. So 81 is the number we're concerned about. And if we come back over, this is with, once again, Turbo Boost disabled. The recent max was 89%, so it's actually greater, okay? And during that time frame, I think uh, I think we're showing a higher average too. So um, that's how that's affected. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the core frequency. How does that change? Now, uh, two places on here that we we see different values. Um, up here, max processor frequency says 4.62. Down here, it says 4.67. It's one one of those two. Maybe it's somewhere in between, but uh, this is uh, the max here, okay? And you see the average is slightly less. Um, obviously, Turbo Boost is working here. Otherwise, it would be, you know, it would be closer to 2.90, right? Or it would be 2.90. So let's disable Turbo Boost and see what it is. And voila. So recent maximum, 2.90. The average is slightly less than that at 
and you saw the minimum 2.82. So um, obviously, you know, that being less has uh, an overall effect on the temperature of the CPU. And uh, this is also, you know, using this verifies obviously that uh, Turbo Boost is disabled. Now there's another place in the software to see that. Maybe I'll show it at the end. Let's look at package TDP next. All right, so, wow, look at that, 158 watts. Now, yours truly does not, on this, uh, on my power supply, I've got an EVGA 850BQ. It does have a second rail where I could put uh, at least another uh, four-pin CPU connector. And uh, this motherboard has a 8 plus 4, right? So uh, we're only using 8. I do not know, honestly, how much more that max would be if there would be a, a greater value. But uh, you see how uh, this obviously went up during the benchmark. Otherwise, you know, it's going to stay uh, really close to 65 watts or less. All right. Let's take a look at what it is with Turbo Boost disabled. So here's your package GDP. And currently 10 watts, 5 watts minimum, recent max 52 watts. So this is one thing that kind of surprised me. I, I thought it would be even, even less than that, uh, like it was with one of my other CPUs. But, uh, you know, 65 watts down to 52 um, and that's that's actually the maximum. It only did that for a very short period of time, right? Otherwise, that average, uh, if we ran this for longer and we used it for gaming, it probably, I bet, would be closer to 25, 30 watts most of the time. But, uh, you know, let's take a look at now the core TDP. So we've got one more, one more to look at here. And... You know, current 15 watts, recent max 152. So over here, we expect this to be, and this is what uh, this guy now we're looking at is with Turbo Boost disabled. Recent max was 45 watts. All right. So a um, couple things maybe you guys care about, maybe you don't. Uh, in here. This is the spot where I go when I adjust the power limits, which I talk about in other videos. This is kind of a neat thing if you don't uh, know it already. When you do have Turbo Boost enabled, you see that uh, these are different multipliers. Okay, Some CPUs, like the i3-10320, will have actually the same value. I think it's 46 for all four cores. This, of course, has eight cores, and this average, if you average these out, is probably um, probably that. Well, we don't see it here. It's on the other video, on the other uh, shot. It's probably this 4.67. Okay, that's how. That's why you don't see 4.8 is a uh, 4.8 gigahertz is a max because it's basically averaging these out now when you uh, turbo you have to turbo on all cores or you don't turbo all right so when that happens that's why it says the max is uh, 4.67 because it is taking the average uh, it's not you know all of these are off and these two are on and you would get 4.8 gigahertz all right so that's why that is so that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully uh, this was useful to somebody. If it was, give it a like. Maybe share it. I always love when I get my video shared. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. We do a lot of gaming videos uh, as well as a lot of unboxings of new technology and some older stuff. Uh, most of the stuff's new that I buy, but I do buy some used crap uh, just because it's cheaper and, and we need it for the channel. Alrighty.